the most important reform, I, I suppose, um, took place in 2003. Uh, it's about 12 years after um, the Cadbury Committee uh, reported in the UK. And what was proposed was um, uh, a, a, a very significant reform to the Japanese uh, governance system that um, would have meant uh, we had a, a, ki a kind of more European or more um, you know, UK uh, style gov governance uh, structure uh, put in place. But interestingly, only um, about 2 or 3% of Japanese companies decided to uh, pursue this particular uh, governance structure, and that figure remains the same today. Um, so a lot of people have asked um, the question, continue to ask the question now, whether um, Japan has actually learned anything from um, the UK or the US. Uh, in spite of a huge amount of, of pressure that's been applied by, um, in particular, institutional uh, in investors. I, I think what, what hasn't happened is um, uh, that the, the Japanese ha haven't yet appreciated or, or ha haven't been able to appreciate uh, the fact that it's the underlying processes that are important. So, so what is really, really important, it, it appears to me, is um, trying to understand how power is balanced, for example, um, in, in Japanese companies. Um, at the moment, um, there actually seems to be um, a good balance of power, but the, 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 power, you know, the power structures tend to be between employees uh, and directors. Um, in the UK uh, and in the US, um, it's, I think, more generally understood that the power needs to be balanced between shareholders and, uh, and, and directors. I think one of the one of the real problems um, that that Japan faces at the moment is is trying to um, understand its corporate governance system in its own terms. This is this is something that um, I think uh, requires more research from academics, um, and it certainly requires um, better understanding um, on the part of uh, practitioners. So people actually involved in corporate governance, and and by that I particularly mean. Um, international institutional investors. Um, I think the, 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 these are the people who have uh, a lot to gain and a lot to lose um, from um, good sound corporate governance uh, structures and processes. Um, but at the moment my feeling is that um, a lot of these organisations don't really um, understand the way that governance um, is affected um, in Japan at the moment. What, what people tend to do is, is frame um, the debate um, in, in, in ways in which they recognise. So they take kind of European or American ideas about you know, what is good corporate governance and then just kind of transpose them onto the Japanese system. It doesn't look like it works, uh, but actually the governance uh, processes may be working in different ways in Japan. Uh, and this is where um, I think you know, we still need to carry out a huge amount of uh, research. Um, my research, for example, indicates that um, instead of having... I suppose hierarchical um, governance uh, systems in place. You have more social governance systems in place. So, um, people, you know, directors, uh, employees, um, suppliers, customers, and so on, um, hold each other to account. Um, so there's a kind of social process going on, uh, where, whereby people feel responsible and people feel that they're being held to account. Um, I think in uh, in the UK system, in the US system, uh, there's an assumption that you know it's the role of the shareholders to actually hold the uh, company directors to account. Good corporate governance is really, really important um, in helping um, companies around the world, but particularly in Japan at the moment. I think um, kind of reassert themselves globally. Um, I think in terms of um, you know improving the general performance of uh, of, J of Japanese companies and encouraging foreign um, investment to come into Japan. It's, it's really, really critical in, in these terms. Japan has now had two decades of, of very negligible growth. Um, and I think this is, this is something that uh, the Japanese authorities are taking very, very, very seriously at the moment, especially in view of the, uh, the challenge from, from China. Um, Japan desperately needs to uh, to up its game, um, you know, it's it's still a very, very, very powerful economy, um, but it's um, it's stagnated uh, for, for 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 two decades. Um, to to recover, it needs um, fresh ideas, it needs um, fresh investment, um, it needs to integrate itself with the global economy much better, um, and to do that, it needs 
to up its game. It needs to um, you know, make sure that it has um, systems and processes in place which encourage um, foreign investors and also foreign talent um, to, uh, to, to, to join these organisations and help you know, stimulate, stimulate growth.